Hey there everyone on YouTube, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. I was doing a bit of video editing, in particular audio processing for a short film, and I want to share with you a little trick I learned about audio crossfading in Premiere Pro CS 5.5. So I've been using CS 5.5 to do my audio mix as well as my video cuts, and I'm since I'm doing the audio mix right now, I've encountered something really important for making the ambient noise in your film sound uniform. Typically in your film, you want to have a constant level of background noise in your clips. But if you fade clips together using a linear crossfade, then the audio might look kind of drop out. There might be kind of gaps in your ambient noise. So what you want to do is to use what's called a constant volume crossfade. And this way, the level of the clip as you crossfade between clips will stay the same and you'll get rid of all those annoying sort of gaps or holes in your ambient audio and sound. So kind of to explain what I've got, this is an example of my Adobe Premiere window and at this point here in the clip, around 35 seconds, I have a uh, crossfade between these two audio tracks, audio 14 and audio 15. So you can see right now I'm using a linear crossfade. I've just drawn automation on the volume level here. You can see these um, clips here. I've drawn a line down from this level of volume, 0.4 dB, all the way down to 0 dB there, or neg infinity, negative infinity. And then this one correspondingly fades in, negative infinity up to, up to, up to 1 dB there, negative 1. So what I was experiencing before is this actually was a a hole in the ambient audio. Because the crossfades were both coming in linearly and the human ears perceive audio in kind of like a logarithmic fashion, there was actually a blip in the ambient sound. So the way to fix this in Premiere is using a little trick. So first of all, I'll del delete these endpoints. Um, using the right mouse click and delete, delete those endpoints. And then now I want to fade in and out these things using what's called a constant volume crossfade. But because these are on two different tracks, we can't simply just crossfade the tracks. We actually have to apply a crossfade to both ends, the end on track one and end on track two, and then line them up properly so they'll actually fade. So I'll go to the, I'll select track 14, and I'll press the page down to go to the end of it there. Okay, and then I'll press Control shift d which adds in, you can see here, it added in a crossfade, but it's taking up the entire thing. It says it's constant power. So I will actually make that length of that crossfade just the length of that little overlap session section there. I'll do the same thing with the bottom one. So I'll select track 15, go over to the beginning of that track, go control shift D, which applies the default audio transition. And then I will move that crossfade over so it overlaps that section exactly. Now if I play back the audio here, I don't know if you can hear it, but if I play this back, you'll notice that there's no gap in the audio. It sounds perfectly clear right across. Whereas before, if I actually undo that, You'll notice there's actually a drop off in the audio at this point. It's kind of subtle to hear. I don't know if you actually could hear it on this uh, this camera, but those that's two different ways of crossfading two different tracks audio. Hope you find it useful. It's definitely saving me a lot of trouble now that I'm going through the doing the fine audio mix on this film to make sure that all the audio transitions there's no blips or dropouts in the audio due to the linear crossfades. Okay, so I hope that little chick was useful for you guys. If you have any questions, please leave comments below. I'll try to answer any questions you have about editing films in Adobe Premiere or the audio mix section of us doing a short film. Because I know you all want your films to sound great, especially in the theater if you get accepted into short film festivals or something like that. So yeah, here's uh, good luck to you and hope your films turn out very well. Okay, that's all for now. See you later. Bye. This is like the upbeat version of the evil guy.